Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing Doctor Who Tales of Terror. This is an anthology of 12 short stories that are all set in the Doctor Who universe, and they're either Halloween related or like creepy spooky stories that you would want to read around Halloween, which I super loved. This came out last year, so it's only the first 12 Doctors, and it doesn't include the War Doctor either. So to just give you guys an idea of what's in here, we've got tons and tons of creepy monsters. As you can see, we've got Weeping Angels and Cybermen on the cover. I don't know if you guys could tell that there are like these ghost eyes up here. Um, it's a really cool cover. I like it. It's reflective and everything. <laughs> so really fun and spooky. The uh, tagline down here is 12 chilling horror stories from all across, all across time and space. And the back cover has a quote from the 12th Doctor episode, Listen. And it's, what's that in the mirror or the corner of your eye? What's that following but never passing by? Perhaps they're all just waiting. Perhaps when we're all dead, out there come a slithering from underneath your bed. So setting that spooky tone. So it's 12 short stories with six different authors writing them. So each author has two different stories. The authors for the short stories are Jacqueline Rayner, Mike Tucker, Paul Meggers, Richard Dunworth, Scott Hancock, and Craig Donaghy. And then each story has an illustration that's related to what's going on in the in that story. And those are done by Rohan Eason. So the stories line up with doctors. So the first doctor is in the first story. The second doctor appears in the second story. Um, the monsters that they face aren't always ones that we would associate with that doctor though. So we have the ninth doctor facing a Cyberman, which he never did in the show. We have the fourth doctor facing off against uh, the Carrionites, which are 10th Doctor monsters. Um, so playing a bit with time and space and also the fact that Doctor Who is just like one long continuous story. So there's a variety of different things going on in here from a Halloween party gone wrong to um, there are the Carrionites. Uh, so the story is that this, each of the stories is different and follows a different plot line, a different monster. Um, some of them are the Doctor with his companions, some of them is the Doctor by himself. Lots of the favorites, like the Cybermen and the Dialect show up, so do the Weeping Angels. The Celestial Toymaker makes an appearance. Um, so lots of spooky, creepy, all your favorite monsters are in here, which is great. Some of them are more Halloween-centered, like the first Doctor story has him going to a mysterious Halloween party. Second Doctor story has uh, trick-or-treaters showing up and trying to knock on his... Uh, the TARDIS door. And then other ones have nothing to do with Doc with Halloween, like the Ninth Doctor story with the Cybermen. It's just a creepy carnival. It's not necessarily Halloween, it's just creepy. There's your there's your Cybermen and the Ninth Doctor story. Um so I really liked going into these not knowing what they were, so I don't really want to spoil them too much for you guys. Um I will tell you that the first and sixth Doctor stories are both written by Jacqueline Rayner and she Tied them together, so I would definitely read the first Doctor story first and then read the sixth Doctor story. One criticism, there's only one minor criticism I have this entire anthology, which is that the Twelfth Doctor story, it kind of plays with the Twelfth Doctor being this dual character a little bit too much. So he's got angry eyebrows and looks mad, but he also looks kind. And he sounds cross, but also nice or something, and it's just, it, it was so much of that that it got a little bit annoying. It also felt a bit much like this the writer didn't really like the 12th Doctor, maybe. So the 12th Doctor story is probably the weakest link in here. I also wish that there was a story in here for the War Doctor, because it A, would have brought it up to a nice round 13, which is like the perfect Halloween number. And also I feel like there's a missed opportunity in having something really spooky, creepy happen during the Time War, especially since he's up against the dialects. Like maybe there was a battle on one of these planets. These short stories make references to things that are happening in the shows. So like, the Carrionites is referencing back to uh, the Shakespeare Code. There are references to Macbeth in here, uh, which I also referencing back to the Carrionites, which I appreciated. Um, Celestial Toy Maker makes an appearance. Um, so I appreciated that, but they aren't so in depth that you need to have watched those episodes to have got it. So you could read these without having watched the Celestial Toy Maker episodes and still get what's going on and still find it spooky and creepy. Um, they're just nods, which I appreciated. There's nothing in here that's too gory or too creepy that you couldn't give it to a child that you would trust with any kind of spooky story. So if you've got a child who likes 
goosebumps or something, you can probably give this to them without too much worry. Um, but also it's still fun if you're an adult, like I am reading these. I like seeing my favorite companions, so Donna showing up with the 10th Doctor, seeing Sarah Jane with the 4th Doctor, and also some of the companions I don't know as well, like, like Dodo shows up with the 1st Doctor. I think this is an excellent Halloween read, or just if you like spooky, creepy Doctor Who stories. It's fun in a creepy Halloween kind of let's get scared sort of way, um, with plenty of nods to the show it definitely feels like it is Doctor Who and it could be canon and I appreciate that like it feels like these could be episodes or things that are happening in between the episodes that we haven't seen yet so if you have read this book let me know in the comments below what you think of Tales of Terror or what are your favorite Doctor Who stories or Doctors or companions and yeah peace out I love you guys and keep reading bye